Hello everyone. Welcome to One Stop Academy English. Today you will learn 10 different words to express the feeling of being sad. You can't use the word very sad, but why do you need different words? Number one reason is to improve your vocabulary. And other reason is that there are certain nuances about being very sad. You can use different word in a different situation. That's why I will show you a sentence with each word so that you know how to use it. So let's start. I will also explain to you the pronunciation of each word. So let's start one by one. Miserable. It's a four syllable word. As you can see on screen, I have underlined each syllable and the stress is on the first syllable shown by the arrow. So the pronunciation is miserable. You will stress the first syllable. Miz, miserable. Failing the exam left her feeling miserable for weeks. Devastated. It's a four syllable word and the stress is on the first syllable shown by the arrow here. Devastated. And the second syllable is shaw sound. Deve, deve, devastated. You don't say devastated or devastated. It's devastated. He was devastated when he heard the news of his pet's passing. Inconsolable. It's a five syllable word. As you can see that I have underlined all the syllables uh, in the phonemic script of this word and the stress is on the third syllable. Inconsolable. And in con and l, you can see the schwa. So inconsolable. She felt inconsolable after the breakup with her long-term partner. Downhearted. It's a three-syllable word. Stress is on the second syllable. Hard. Hearted. Downhearted. And the t sound is not very strong t. It's more like d in the end. So it's downhearted. Downhearted. His failed project had him feeling downhearted and defeated. Anguished. Anguished. It's a two-syllable word. The stress is on the first syllable. You stress the first syllable. And as you can notice in the phonemic script, the sound is not ending with d sound. It's ending with t sound, as in t. Anguished. If you want to learn in detail why some of the ed ending words end with t sound, you can see my uh, video where I have explained the ed endings. And the reason is if the uh, if the consonant before ed is unvoiced, then you don't um, say as d sound. The ending sound will be t, anguished. Her anguished expression revealed the depth of her pain. Low spirited. It's a four syllable word. All the syllables are underlined in the phonemic script and the stress is on the second syllable. Low spirited. He felt low spirited as the persistent setbacks wore down his enthusiasm. Gloomy. It's a two syllable word underlined in the phonemic script and the stress is on the first syllable shown by the arrow. The gloomy weather matched her somber mood perfectly. Now what does somber means? Check it out in the dictionary and let me know in the comment section. Despondent. It's a three syllable word. And as you might have noticed, the stress is on the second syllable, pondent. 
despondent. Despite his efforts, he remained despondent, unable to shake off the feeling of hopelessness. Heartbroken, heartbroken. It's a three syllable word and the stress is on the first syllable. She was utterly heartbroken when she found out the truth. Mournful. It's a two syllable word and the stress is on the first syllable. Mournful. Their mournful gazes spoke volumes about the depth of their sorrow. I hope this lesson was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section and I will be happy to answer. I would also appreciate your any kind of feedback. I'll see you again and bye until then.